Hi guys, Frank here from Build Your Own, and today we're going to do an oil and filter change on my 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500 with the 4.3 liter V6 engine. Okay, so I've got the 94 C1500. It's got the 4.3 liter V6 engine in it. Uh, says that it takes 5W30 oil. I know that it takes 4.5 gallons of oil. Uh, and doing a basic oil change on a, on a vehicle like this is really, really straightforward. The oil filter is uh, just right down there. We're going to get to the oil filter. We've got to get the oil filter off. we got to drain the oil uh, and put new oil in it. As you can see, I've got a serious oil leak on the valve cover gaskets. And I was also told that the intake manifold leaks. And you can see a puddle of oil right down in there. And so there looks like something's been living down in here, too. It looks like some kind of animal's been under this thing. I'm gonna have to like do some kind of power washing on that. At any rate, at any rate, we will uh, change the oil on this thing today and it's pretty straightforward. I've got all the supplies, so let's take a look at that stuff right now. What's really cool about doing an oil change on this truck in particular is that I just got this four inch lift from Rough Country, so I don't have to jack the, uh, the truck up or anything. It's very, very easy to slide underneath the front of the truck and drain the oil. Worth noting that I have only changed the oil in this truck one time since I've owned it. It says I got 209,703 miles on the truck. I got it changed one time, I don't know how long ago, and it said I should change the oil at 210,000 miles. And it said I should change it on 31820. It's like, I don't know, uh, the 10th, it's like October now. So I'm way past that. So, you know, it's just time to change the oil and I'm not really on a necessarily on a schedule. As you can see, this truck, I, I work on it more than I actually drive it. So let's take a look at these supplies though. Okay, here are the things I think you need for a DIY oil change at home. Obviously you need your oil. Uh, we already saw that the engine said that it needed 5W30. This is 5W30. The truck has over 200,000 miles. I would consider that high mileage. So I've got the STP high mileage 5W30. I've got conventional oil. I'm not gonna do synthetic. So. The, the, the truck takes four and a half gallons of oil, or I'm sorry, four and a half quarts of oil, and this is five quarts of oil, so that's enough. I got a uh, OE AC Delco uh, oil filter. I've got myself an oil filter wrench, and I've got myself an oil filter receptacle so I can drain the oil into this receptacle. This thing is 24 quart. So it's more than capable of holding several oil changes for this truck. It's got a nice deep valley. I like that, it looks good. I've got some rags that I'm willing to throw away. I just don't like these, especially after I got my new Griot's uh, rags when I buffed the truck out. These rags just don't do it anymore. So these are gonna be my cleanup rags and I'm just gonna throw them away. I think, I think, it's fi I, think I read that it's 15 millimeter uh, nut for the oil pan. We'll see when we get up under there. I got, my, uh, I got my crawler so I can slide up under the truck to remove the oil filter and, re and drain the oil. And let's see, I got my Carhartt uh, shop glasses. You know why? Because when I was working on the bumper, all this debris kept fall uh, falling in my face, falling in my eyes. And so I'm going to put these glasses on today. I think I'm going to start trying to wear these when I go underneath the truck just to protect my eyes. Uh, and then last but not least, we'll throw some air fresheners in the truck. Uh, these black ice ones are particularly nice. So, yeah. So let's get the truck pulled over and uh, get up underneath the truck and remove the oil filter and drain the oil. Okay, I got the truck parked. I got it on about as level of a surface as it's gonna be on. And so the first thing that I gotta do is get up, get under the truck. I'm gonna drain the oil and then take off the oil filter. So the things I need, I need my crawler to get under there. Uh, I've got my oil drain pan. I've got it, that oil wrench. I mean the oil filter wrench to take that off and then I think it's 15 millimeter to take that nut off for the oil pan. We'll find out when we get under there. All right, so we're under the front of the engine. All right, we can actually see my brand new motor mount right there actually. Anyway, uh, let's see. Coming up under here, here's the oil pan. Here's that nut to remove the, uh, to drain the oil and we can see right there. Let me scoot under here a little bit more. We can see right there the uh, oil filter is very, very, very easy to get to. It's really oily under here. We've probably got a lot of leaks on this truck. Yet, surprisingly, nothing ever leaks on the ground. So, yeah. Okay, so I've got my oil drain pan under here. Confirmed 15 millimeter socket. 
does work. I already broke it loose. Uh, let me see if I can, no, I need to put a little more uh, twist on that. Let me go ahead and break this thing loose and then uh, we'll check back in. All right, so we've got oil and it's draining. Confirmed, I've got it on my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and we'll let this drain and then we'll get the oil filter off the truck. Okay, so I think the oil is all but drained. I see, but the very, very thinnest line of oil coming down. I cleaned off the oil, uh, the bolt that uh, goes in the bottom of the oil pan. It looks good. It has a little uh, little gasket, a little silicone uh, a little gasket right there. It looks to be all in really good condition. Actually, it was a little loose. I thought I had broken it loose. I actually had snugged it up a little bit. It was a little bit loose. Nothing was leaking, but it was a little bit loose. So I'll go ahead and tighten it down a little bit better. I did, like I said, I only take, I took this truck in one time to get an oil change. So they're the only people that would have put hands on it, I guess. So yeah, we'll tighten up the bolt and I still need to get the oil filter down. So we'll do that next. We've got the nut replaced in the oil pan and it's all cleaned off. Now we need to just grab a hold of this oil filter. I do have this wrench. I do have this wrench, but I might just try to turn it by hand first and see how that goes because these sh things should be put on hand tight and then you know torqued down by hand so it should come off so let's find out okay so you saw how that that uh oil filters up under there like that i just can't get by it's it's too it's too uh tight to do it by hand this tool is just too big for the space i want to get one of those oil filter uh wrenches one of those caps that fit right on the bottom of this. So I'm, uh, let's go over to Advanced Auto real quick that's just down the street and get us one of those wrenches that fit right on the top that you use your socket to take it off. And I think that's gonna work better. We would have taken the truck. Well, we would take the truck, but all the oil's out of the truck. So let's take something else. We'll take this 2004 Toyota Sequoia that just happens to be laying around. Actually, I did two videos on this exact Sequoia. Uh, I did a whole wash video on this, on this Sequoia and I did a walk around review on the Sequoia. Uh, Videos I think are relevant to anything I've been talking about in this video. I've put links in the description below. So if you know my vid, if you know me and you know my videos, you know I've got links in the description below. So make sure you check out some of those other videos, including the review of this Toyota Sequoia. I've been driving around this weekend. It's a very nice uh, SUV. It has 203,000 miles on it, but you'd never know it by the way it drove. All right, guys, we're here at Advanced Auto Parts. Let's go get ourselves an oil filter wrench and then we can get back and uh, complete this job. Okay, I'm back from Advanced Auto. This is what I wanted, an oil filter wrench. Uh, this one says it's uh, 74 to 76 millimeter, and the way it works is it's got grooves that fit right on top of this thing like that. Let's just hope that the one underneath the truck is exactly the same. It looks to be, but uh, we're about to find out here for from uh, in a second. I also, in, another, in some other video I saw, someone said that it was easier to get to the oil filter from from this way well he had turned the tire and i guess i'm not going to really do that but that might be a better way to get under because i've got to go under the long way this way but uh yeah just fyi okay this might be a little hard to see but yeah confirmed this it it does well oh yeah I think it's slipping. I think it's slipping. I think it's a little bit big. No, actually, I take that back. Me trying to hold the camera at that angle, I didn't have the, the wrench on there fully. It actually fits just fine. So let's get this oil filter off. Okay, so while this oil filter wrench seems to fit, I just can't, uh, seems it starts to slip when I put this uh, socket on here. So I don't know what the deal is. Then I tried to reach under here and, and grab it with that. You can see that, uh, I punctured the uh, the oil filter. So DIY oil change is cool as long as you have all the right stuff. So here I go back to the auto parts store to get the right wrench. And once I have the right wrench going forward, then these oil changes will not be a pain in the butt. For today, however, the first time, until I get the right tool for the job, there's this is what we're looking at. All right, those guys at Advanced Auto Parts are really cool. I returned that oil filter wrench I bought this old school tool, which is probably what I should have bought to begin with, and I'm more than confident that this is going to do the trick. So let me get this oil filter off now. Okay, result. That finally did the trick. I still had to wrestle with it, but that definitely is the tool that definitely gets the best grip, and you can adjust the handle. And so, yeah, that worked. Now, oh, there's no rubber gasket on this one. Either that or the rubber gasket's stuck up there. I'll have to take a look, but it doesn't look like there's a rubber gasket 
on this particular oil filter. No, there's the gasket there. It came off. I just reached up under there and picked it off the uh, housing. So yeah, let's get the uh, the new oil filter prepped and put back, uh, put on the truck. Okay, so here's our new oil filter. And from everything that I was ever shown or taught, you take a little bit of the new oil or old oil sometimes. I'm just going to use the new oil. And you put it around this gasket so it you get a nice seal and the rubber doesn't stick to that housing. Sort of kind of like that other one just did. All right, so we got our oil on the gasket here. And so now we're going to put this back. Uh, put it up under the truck easy peasy. So let's get that done uh, right now. Okay I don't know if you can see that or not really good. Hopefully you can we've got the new AC Delco oil filter installed uh, Which is original equipment stuff and now we can just uh, we'll wipe up all some of this dripping oil from when I punctured a hole in the old oil filter and then we can put our four and a half quarts of oil in the truck well now it started to rain which is fine because we're almost done all we need to do now is put four and a half quarts of oil 5w30 into the engine and you know what then we'll be done so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now okay it feels like i've poured most of this oil into the engine like i said the engine takes four and a half quarts of oil this is a five quart container so i really only need to leave about a half a quart in here i feel that i've got somewhere around that so what i'm going to do is check the engine oil and see where we're at okay i checked the oil it looks good it's very very light very 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 light but it's it's where it needs to be there's not very much oil left in that five quart container so all we really need to do now is start it up and make sure let it run for a couple minutes make sure it's not leaking anywhere on the bottom anywhere okay the truck's been running a couple minutes nothing's leaking down below sounds great nice and quiet as usual uh so yeah i i call this a job well done we took us a while it took us three tries to get the right oil filter wrench but this is sometimes how you acquire the right tools over time so now i have the right oil filter wrench going forward now next big job on this truck is to do something with those valve cover gaskets and that leaking intake manifold i've already ordered i already have the replacement gaskets for that that's going to be the next big job i'm going to power wash all this engine get it all clean once i secure a location where i can keep the truck indoors then we'll do that job because the truck will probably be down for a couple of days or whatever i haven't done this job before and it's a lot of work tearing all this down i'm really excited to do it both nervous and excited to do it to be honest with you but that job will get done for sure all right so on that note you know what i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i'm gonna go ahead and take the truck for his cruise uh we got the oil change we put uh the proper five uh five w30 oil in there four and a half quarts and so yeah it was a super easy job had i not had to spend so much time going back and forth with the oil wrench it would have taken you could probably change the oil in this truck in 15, 20 minutes, no problem. If you found this DIY oil change for my uh, 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500 with the 4.3, if you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I've done a lot of videos on this truck. The playlist is down in the description below. Make sure you check it out. There's gonna be a, If you like this truck, there's going to be a lot of videos about this truck that you're going to like. On that note, uh, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you on the next video.